Hi, welcome back guys. It's going to be the second session of our live and we're gonna wait for the time so that we can start at 2 p.m. shop. Today's topic is about how to tone up your body in uh, two weeks' time. Okay, so my name is Ivan and I'm uh, one of the team muscle up. I'm sorry about that. One of the partner today has some emergency and he's not here. So today I'll be sharing with you guys about how to tone up your body in two weeks' time. So first of all, one of the scenario that you are going to, to uh, scalp your body in two weeks' time is we have met with people that good, they are always working out and then they don't have, they don't care about their diet. So in order to look good in two weeks' time, basically you are eager to gain size or to slim down. Ah, hey, JJ is missing. Yeah, JJ is on some emergency, so he, he has to be away for a while. Hope I get your, hope I answer your questions. So I'll be talking about those that uh, have exercises but they don't diet well. Two cases, either you're going to gain some weight and look good in wearing some shirts or you're going to lose weight to fit in your shirts or, or your dress and everything. So one scenario, first scenario, if you are wanted to gain weight, you wanted to gain weight to look better in a coat or maybe uh, your, your dress something all you have to do maintain your exercises and then act extra calorie calorie surplus which means that you eat more enable your body to like bulk up in a bit so we have to look we don't want to gain uh, like unwanted fats to look big we want to look slightly bigger than before so the main sources is the protein. We have to increase our protein intake. And then at the same time, you want to fill up your muscle, muscle cell. So we have to increase our carbohydrates intake as well. At the same time, we have to keep our fats level to the minimum. Therefore, we will prevent our excessive fat gains. So how do you do that? Basically, I would prefer you guys to increase every protein and carbs intakes on every meal that you eat let's say four meals a day so the four meals you would like to increase your carbs and protein intake eventually like maybe 20 grams of protein and 20, 50 grams of carbs so for example and then try to lower down your fat intake as many as possible like i said just around 40 percent of carbs 30 percent of protein and 20 percent of fats well and the exercises we maintain it and then the intensity we still maintain it this will show slightly improvement in the two weeks time that we can do however for people who wanted to lose weight it's the same we're still maintaining our exercises and then we will reduce our calorie consumptions like just an example four meals a day we would like to reduce our carbs intake most importantly to shrink down the muscle cells and then at the same time we will look harder and better at the same time we lose size lose weight and we look better in our 
our dress and everything. So, four meals a day. We reduce the carbs, reduce the fats, maintain the protein intake, or you can increase the protein intake. This is how we will use uh, carbs and fats as a source of our energy during our exercises. At the same time, we will reduce the weight eventually. So we still maintain our exercises. We does not. We doesn't want to change the exercises. In in this case, we are slowly losing weight and fits into our our ideal dress and ideal weight that we want. So these are the base basic example that I would like to share with you guys. If you guys have any problem, do give some. Please give some uh, questions and also what you guys think about it. For later on, I'll move into the next scenario after you guys have finished questioning me and I'll try to get you guys a uh, better answer. Aheng, do you have some questions? Besides that, I would like to emphasize on uh, when you are low, lowering your carbohydrates intake, most people will get hungry easily. So what do I do when I try to like gain some size or lose some weights? I will increase your fiber intake such as vegetables and the foods that is high in fiber content to keep ourselves full. And another way is drink more water, stay hydrated always. Any water will do. Drinking a lot of water also helps us in keeping ourselves full, having our cellular activity goes, goes well, and then helping, helping us to stay full at all time. Alicia, is it the fastest and healthy way to stuff and exercises to tone up faster? fastest way to starve first thing starving is a very bad to our body because it blunt our metabolism rate same time we try to break our meals down instead of two meals a day we break it to four meals four small meals a day keep our metabolism high reduce our starveness at the same time you feel good you won't be starving and feel that dieting is always a torture for us so we have to we still have to keep our exercise in Try not to stuff. Instead, break your meals to uh, many times as possible. That's the way that I think is the fastest way to tone up your body. So don't worry about starving. You can one meal. You can break it down to three meals, three portions, and small three smaller portions. In that case, will help us to ease our hunger, and at the same time, we will help us to feel satisfied with the food intake and everything. Still, drink more water. Well, you guys have any other questions wanted regarding this topic? Uh, for staying, keeping your exercise in, all you have to do is just the diet, changing the diet only. If not, a while more we'll jump into the second scenario which is those people that haven't been working out and not really take care of their diet they wanted to look good in two weeks times and that is possible
who Jia Xing. Listen, listen. Yeah, maybe can ask Jia Xing to ask a few questions that she wants to do. Alright, in that case, I would like to proceed to the next scenario for the person who is never work out but and also have no experience in dieting. Okay, first of all, we touch in the exercises. If a person doesn't want to work out, not mean doesn't never work out and never diet, if you wanted to look good in two weeks' time, there is no miracle. You have to put in hard work, a little bit of hard work. Okay, first of all, we are talking about the exercises. We can go for, uh, if you doesn't have a gym, we can go for aerobic exercises such as jogging, swimming, brisk walking, hiking, and something outdoor and it's more interesting. In, in that case, you will burn around 40 to 600 calories at the same time. If it's possible, you are kind of overweight, you can do it twice, twice a day. Something like in the morning, you go for a hiking, in the afternoon, you go for a brisk walking or something like that, just to burn the extra calories so you, you could lose weight. Okay. If those people that have a have a gym and then wouldn't like to go outside, maybe because of the sun and everything, you can do a, some functional training in the gym. So, because functional training improves overall fitness and helps tone up. So exercises like Tabata. HIIT for maybe not long, half an hour per session is enough. This will help you to boost your metabolic rate and create the afterburn sessions. Afterburn metabolic, your, which means it boosts up your metabolic rate, you'll get hungry faster, easier, and at the same time, you'll like to ingest more food. But if you control your diet well, you get your calorie deficit, even though with, uh, you're eating less, eating lesser, exercise more, this will help you to lose a, lose a couple pounds of fats. Okay, in the diet wise, let's say a person that doesn't exercise and doesn't diet, their metabolic rate is calculated as a standard standard precursor. We take 12 times your body pound. Okay, let's say you are 50 pounds times 12. You are, your calorie intake is around 600 a day maintenance level so if you are 1002 calorie maintenance level you're eating less than 1002 you lose weight if you eat more than 1002 then you gain weight this is the standard standard level of how people measure okay so you have a calorie deficit and lose a pound or a pound of, of fats we have to burn 500 calorie daily, which means that in one whole week, it's going to be 3,005 calorie we, we, we going to burn, and then it help us to lose one pound of fat. So, one case is, we can say that a person uh, daily maintenance calorie is 1,002. So, one day, he, he or she takes 700 calorie, which means 500 calorie deficit. So he maintained it for seven weeks. His weight, he or he or she, her weight will be less by one pound or maybe more. Depends on uh, the energy, the energy output that he do per day. If it's more than three thousand five, which means he or she will lose more weights. There's a simple guidance that I can share with you guys about how to lose weight. Well, this is uh, the basic thing for a person uh, who wanted to lose weight without exercising and haven't experienced any dieting before. So, another tips on diet is you have to choose low glycemic index carbohydrates, and which is consists of 30% of your diet. So, we try to avoid white rice, uh, simple carbs, white sugar, and so on, which is will spike our insulin level and will cause us to eat more foods. So maintain our protein intake as high as fifty percent, and then our look our fats low as twenty percent. Because 
a person that don't really experience about diet before, it will be like, it's a bit difficult. I understand that I've been through this and also you have to like trial and error, but in a two weeks time, it's quite, quite tough. And then it's going to be a, a challenge for them. But if you want to go down for a date, I'm sure that you want to look good for your partner and also any event and impress people. So this is the basic guide I gave you all. If you guys have any questions, it's okay to comment below and give some give a few questions so that will help you out. The percentage is count based on per meals or per day. The percentage I count is based on per day. It's a whole day intake. Okay, let's say 1,002 calories is 50% of 50% uh, of protein, which means that protein have to be consist of 50% of it is uh, our protein intake. As we know that protein is 4 calories, carbohydrates is 4 calories, and the fats is 9 calories. So total intake for the day, we cannot exceed 1,002. If we exceed 1,002, it's going to make us gain weight. So we have to get below 1,002, like I said, 500 calorie deficit, which means maximum calorie a day is 700. This will help us to lose weight. Alicia, do you have any questions or your friend, Jia Xing? Hi, Chris. How are you doing there? Tony Junjen. Jen. Okay, I would like to emphasize a bit on the training that for people who uh, know how to work out and then wanted to lose weight but they have controlled their diet but also couldn't find any idea on how to lose weight. So a simple tip is for people who wanted to lose weight, I suggest that you wanted to change your training into high intensity interval training such as you lesser down your rest time and increase the rep range while maintaining the weight that you lift like previous before. This will help our muscle overload, which means that we tire out our muscle. We use the exact weight and then we hit it for a few times to feel the muscle stress. This, was, this is called muscle overload and it helps us to burn and extra fats while in a calorie deficit mode. So don't worry about uh, you burn out your muscle. If you have a proper meal, Adequate, uh, adequate protein intake, it won't burn our muscle a lot. Instead, we'll look leaner and then look in a better shape. Besides that, by doing a high intensity interval training, which means that we, are higher, we have a higher heart rate. This also means that when higher heart rate, which means more oxygen is pumped through our body, this also will uh, help us to do a fat oxidation when oxygen moves through our body. Next, for people who wanted to gain more weight, we have to emphasize on the training also because uh, training for people who want to gain weight, we are trying to 
reduce the calorie calorie outflow, which means that uh, lesser down the energy expansion expenditure. So we have to we can carry we can training a shorter period of time, carry heavier weights, which means we exert our energy at, at a simple amount at a certain certain level, and then we stop back to eat, which means fit in with more nutrition dense food such as solid protein and uh, complex carbs and low, lower the fat intake. For that kind of training, we usually go for higher sets, lesser reps, and the uh, weight will be heavier so that we can really uh, use our, our muscle and then uh, enhance the muscle growth process. Christopher Fan. Total protein intake should count by pound or kg, like 2 gram per pound or 2 gram per kg. Uh, this depends on your goals because uh, we calculate by 2 grams per pound and 2 grams per kg. Certain people is like, if you take 2 gram per pound, it's going to be like, let's say you're 100 pound times 2 is going to be 200 gram. 100 pound is equivalent to 50 uh, around 50 plus kg so basically for me i personally i do use pound as an indicator there is no correct or wrong but it uh, depends on your goal some people will take 1.7 is enough for you to build our muscle and gain weight so it still go for personal personal recommendation if you are using pound since the first day so continue using pound if you are using kg since the first day all we need is the consistency and you know your body well here is just a preference example i hope i i hope you get my answer Christopher. and mark is there any limit for protein intake per meal? Like if I eat more than 100 grams of protein per meal, is it able to fully absorb or preferably break into small meals? Still, uh, depends on your goal, whether you are gain, you wanted to gain weight or lose weight. We eat more, we gain more weight. We eat less, which means we eat less. So breaking our meals now in portions is better for protein absorption rather than one meal you con consume one a whole bunch of protein it's the same as if you have if you have been uh, star for i mean get hungry for a day the absorption rate is definitely higher so what we want is to stay hungry so that we can absorb uh, we can have our meal absorb faster and fully so for 100 gram of protein per day i can say that your body wouldn't absorb fully 100%, maybe 80%, but if you split it into 25 grams per meal, I would say that it is more efficient than you take one roll at a time. Hope I've answered your question, Mark. Alicia, I'm like really zero knowledge about counting calories but only eating less protein but more like cereal with bananas will it be any easier and just do some cardio training for me i would like recommend you to uh, take more solid protein meals because cereals is carbohydrates with a lot of maybe simple sugar inside i would rather say if you're trying to get Get into shape for in two weeks time i would prefer you to like maybe lower down your cereal intake have more natural food like bananas and everything and just do some cardio training it's possible for you still to change your your body in two weeks time but do keep in mind that protein is the building block of our body muscles and everything which means that if our pro if the muscle mass in our body is higher which means our body needs more calorie which means it will heat up our metabolism rate so that we can burn more we we'll require require more food as well 
due to working life, not able to prepare food. Can you give example what to order if I go to economy rice store? Very simple. Economy rice store, you can easily get uh, some vegetables. Try look for those steam one without without any heavy sauces. And then the, the easiest one is eggs. Either is, uh, I would prefer the steam eggs. And also try to find a, a solid chicken. Maybe it's in soy sauce, not the curry type, in soy sauce, chicken, eggs, and maybe you can see, you can find some sardines, the tomato, sardine is tomato, it's a quite good amount of protein. Try to skip off the white rice. If you are a fan of white rice, I would recommend you to get as little as possible with few eggs and a few veggies. Uh, one gram protein and carbs equals four calorie. Sorry, Chris. Is one gram of protein is four calorie. One gram of carb is four calorie. One gram of fats is nine calorie. Is calories is not calorie. Natural food like what bananas only. Natural food such as uh. Uh, we can obtain it naturally. It's not those synthetic like cereals. It's factory processed and made. Natural food is like bananas, apple, oranges, pineapples, and all the fruits that which is uh, naturally grown. How to gain weight? I can't gain a kilo even every night. Fried chicken. So. Let me tell you something. Every night you take fried chicken, but every morning, every lunchtime, do you take fried chicken? And do you work out? Do you starve yourself in a single day? So if you wanted to gain weight, it might not be easy and it's not difficult. You have to watch out your diet. Make sure that every time you eat, you have full stomach. Try not to starve. This is one of the people that hardly gain weight. They starve easily and they eat, they feel full very easily too. So try to get more meals in, frequent meals in, try not to skip meals. So even you take fried chicken every day or you take steamed chicken every day, you try to keep yourself full, I believe you will gain, gain some weight. Not even a kilo, maybe a few, few kilo. So it's going to be question and answer. Hopefully you guys can, can accept the answer that I give you. I'll stay here for a while more just to answer a few more questions because before I end this live discussion. get my answer and good luck in gaining some weight. Alicia, good luck in losing weight. I know you'll do it. It's going to be a two weeks tough thing.
So I hope you guys are quite quite uh, satisfied with the live session, live discussion today. I hope you guys will keep ask more questions so that I can help you guys to have a better lifestyle. Even though it's uh, out of the topic, it's still fine. So therefore, I would like to end this session today and I hope you guys to stay fit and stay motivated at all times. Have a better healthy lifestyle, which means you have a better life. Thank you for watching.